Now, before we finish this video too fast, we do need to acknowledge and credit our forefathers who came up with this masturbating idea. Now, who are these grand people you may ask? Who are these people that first taught us Wabi how to masturbate? We have to give credit where credit's due. So a huge props and shout out to Pyronius and Lost Jumper for teaching us all how to be a masturbator. Now, a long, long time ago, many, many moons ago, we learnt the art of masturbating from your truly lost jumper. And today, all will be revealed about how you too can be a masturbator. Now, there is a more extended, longer version. So if you're the type of person that prefers the longer sessions, make sure to check out the run earlier today. And if not, let's get right into it so we can see the short and sweet version. Now, before you start jumping up and down and getting too excited over the masturbating series, notice a couple of things. Now, notice we don't have our GoFu teams. We don't have our STK build. We don't have Shelly. We don't have Tabora. We don't have Kadama. We also don't have a full Euros Essence team. So we don't have a Tabora, Lindworm and Black Feather to do these nodes. So what we have to do is we have to practice our master baiting skills. And I'm going to show you how to do that right now. When you are master baiting, you need to work out how fast you want to go. So looking at these speeds here, there's a 19,000 Arubal. There's a 37,000 Moon Haze. So we need to be at least faster than the 19,000 Arumal. When you are masturbating, you don't want to go in all at once. So right here, we have three monsters. That's not actually what you want. You actually want to go solo first. So because we can't go solo right away, we are going to have to go in with two friends first and then come back and do a solo party. So here we are having our first master baiting session with our two friends. So our two friends and us are now gone and now is the really important part where you want to go in solo to practice your master baiting skills. Now notice what I'm doing is I'm sending in one at a time. So you don't want to spill all your beans and lose every single one. You want to lose one at a time. So here, we're going to just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, one at a time, one at a time, until you are ready for the next stage of masturbating. So look here, Moon Haze is now running low on stamina. Moon Haze is running low on energy. What that means is it is almost time to finish our masturbating session. Now, here we go. This is the last thrust from Moon Haze. And now that you have officially finished your very first masturbating session, now that Moon Haze has run out of energy, Moon Haze is out of stamina, Moon Haze is no longer going to be hard. And now that you too have learned the art of masturbating from the very own Lost Jumper, and you now understand why the jumper has been lost, it is now time to get on to the main event. Now, the first thing to notice here is there is an Arumal, and Arumal has evasion. So that's why we're bringing in Ignis, so that Ignis can positive effect remove and deal with Arumal, so that we can then start pounding away at all of the monsters. All right, let's fight. So Moon Haze, what? Oh, so Moon Haze already re recharged, and that's why it was our turn. So positive if you have remove, and then we do a area CDA. And that's what's really good about this team. Heinrich does have the area CDA, and we also have revert events on Lindworm to cycle back and forth to Heinrich when we need to. And we're just going to win with dots. So the one thing to notice is that Moon Haze does have hardened. So because Moon Haze is hard after recovering her stamina, then we just have to be careful to keep her on CDA, so to keep her down. So we just keep cursing and dotting everyone, and eventually they'll go down. Now that the hard Moon Haze is gone, it's going to be pretty easy, so we are going to speed it up whilst Arumal and Zorki flap away. Thank you. 
And there you have it, my friends. There are the juicy rewards that you get after masturbating. And if you are still on node 55, we did the exact same strategy on node 55. The only difference here is Moon Haze is already on low stamina. Moon Haze has already run out of energy because we did the masturbating session offline and now we're just reaping the rewards. There you go, the masturbating series. If you enjoyed series like this or if you want to continue to learn and grow, then make sure to subscribe and I'll see you next time.